I hope you all are having a great Christmas. I wanted to do a few quick videos on a quick start guide for a few of the handhelds that I have. Um, thinking that maybe it'll help some folks out that, I don't know, maybe you're unwrapping presents this morning, you've got a brand new radio, and you're looking at it and you're thinking, um, well, the manual is like 40 pages. How do I just do X, Y, or Z? Uh, whatever that is. Uh, so I wanted to do a couple of quick starts. Right now I'm starting with the Baofeng 5RM, which is um, currently, I guess it's my favorite, I guess I could say. And... Um, I've already got it on. I'll turn it off and back on so you see the screen there. I'm on a weird channel because I had it uh, doing a scan a few minutes ago. But um, you notice that we have two, let me adjust that a little bit. We have two VFOs up here and down here, uh, or dual watch. I don't know if that technically means we have two VFOs or not. Somebody might can instruct me in the comments if that's true. Um, but you notice I have it set to put the name in the top one and the frequency for the bottom one. Uh, some people like to unify it so they've only got one that they're watching. Um, I like being able to potentially listen to two different frequencies and pick up if there's activity on one. Uh, the top repeater is one of the most active in our area, and so I like keeping that on there, and I like scanning, uh, and I'm going to long press this pound sign to start scanning through my memories. I like scanning on the bottom one and keeping the top one solid, and then if there's any activity on this repeater, then it will stop and listen to that. I've noticed it does stop the scan, and then if the scan comes across anything, it would stop and play that transmission. Uh, and so that was the first one there, the scan button. But um, I'll push the arrow just to kind of get back to the screen display. If I want to stop the scan, I push that pound sign again. Um, if I want to alternate between the top and the bottom, you notice we've got a red thing there that says main. I just moved it by pressing that A, B button right there. Uh, so we can move between the top and the bottom. Our transmit button, of course, is on the side. Here, a short press gets us AM, or sorry, FM radio. And I have already uh, tuned it to a frequency that I want to hear around here. And then this bottom black button, if I do a short press, we get a flashlight or a strobe blinky light. Or if I do a long press, we get the monitor, which I turned the volume down. So. And so we get to just hear uh, without squelch. And so that's, that's what that bottom one there does. Now, if I want to change from channel mode, where we've got our preset channels, to VFO, which is the variable frequency oscillator, I just do that button. Now, that button I have... Actually, let me change that back. Because I want to do that on B. I'm going to press that button. And, whoops, I accidentally keyed. Um... So let's see, here we are. We're in, there we go. Sorry, I didn't get it pushed the first time. We're in VFO mode. And so if I wanted to just punch in a frequency like 443, 000, uh, there I've gone straight to that frequency. Now in channel mode, we have to enter the channel number. So like channel 123 might be, uh, 147 megahertz um, and so that's that's one of the differences there we can scan in VFO mode it's going to be very slow though because it's going through uh, very small steps up and down the spectrum you can change the direction of scans with the up or down arrows uh, or you can stop it of course with that pound sign now if we press the star long press on the star you'll see a little icon up here that just showed up to show that it's locked. And then you can unlock it with another long press. That means you couldn't bump the buttons and get anything else entered by mistake. Now, if you want the weather band, and I tried this a minute ago in here and I, it was not good reception. This is not indicative of how this radio does. I, we must have some interference um, in, on the floor below us or something, but pressing the zero long, Chance of rain, 20%. Okay. Maybe they had transmitter issues because that's not clear. 
Um, anyway, pressing it again, just short doesn't get you out of it for long, it gets you out of it. Um, now, if you go to the weather and it's not picking up something immediately, I think it seems like it scans through, and so that's really handy. Um, really like having uh, the weather band on these. Um, the lime green button here is to copy a frequency, so if you've got another radio and you want to clone the frequency, uh, you can press and hold that and it'll search and try and identify. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, I, I, I don't want to uh, try and juggle doing that, but that's a pretty neat little feature. The menu button is this green button right here. And so if I press that, it gives me some options for the frequency that I was looking at down here, which it's now moved up to the top. And uh, option 30 is the one to save it to a channel. And so one of the problems here is that it's offering me to save it at channel 2. Well, if I go back and exit, I'm going to exit the menu with the red button, and I'm going to go back to our channel view, um, yeah, I already have something at memory location 2. And so I'm going to go all the way to, what was it, 260, uh, 200 maybe, uh, 196. Okay, I have got, there's 200 through, okay, 206 is the end of one of my banks there. I've done, um, air uh, on, on this little range in the 200s. And so 206 is the last one used. If I use the little arrow to go up, I'll notice that I'm at 900, I think, there. And so I'll go back down. And so now if I go to the VFO and I really wanted to save that frequency that I've got, I go back to menu. And it's good about remembering the last area you were at in the menu. And I don't want to write over 206. I'm going to press menu again to get the selector down in the bottom half. And a down arrow to get to 207 now is the one blinking. And I would save it by pressing the green button. And then I can exit. Sorry, I'm doing this backwards. And then I switch back to our channel view. And look, it is saved to channel 207. Um, so that's just kind of a quick way to manually enter some frequencies. Of course, that's simplex. If you want to do your repeater offset, if you want to enter tones, go back to the menu and make the choices and then save uh, just by exiting the menu and it'll save it to that channel. Um, really neat radio. I hope that's enough to get your feet wet with it. Have fun with it. Um, I appreciate you coming. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave me a comment if, if there's something, a feature that you wanted that you've missed. Um, I guess before I leave it, I'll do one more thing. I'll show you the panel on the side, which has the Kenwood jack. They make a cable that goes from this to USB, and you can use that to program it using your computer. Um, I like to use a program called Chirp. Um, it's uh, pretty easy to use. Uh, you can load in frequencies from Radio Reference um, and other sites. You can copy and paste from a spreadsheet if you've got a spreadsheet to track your local repeaters. And so you can also do some global settings. Like one of the things that I like to do when I get these, the Balfangs have this, to me, annoying voice that announces what channel you're on every time you manually change it. Uh, I don't like that. I turn that off pretty quick. I turn the Roger beep off pretty good quick. And the feedback beep of pushing a button, it, it's... Yeah, I will want to make it stop as soon as I get a new radio. But um, anyway, thanks for stopping by. If, uh, if you're looking to get your amateur license, uh, whether it's technician or you're upgrading to, um, sorry, make that turn down. If you're upgrading to general or uh, extra uh, or just wanting to learn more in the area of radio, I know Ham Radio Prep has some great courses, including a, a Balfang course. Uh, including emergency uh, operations. And um, if you use the code um, RADIOCOMS at checkout, uh, that's R-A-D-I-O-C-O-M-M-S, you'll get a 10% discount on training courses over there. We get a little bit back from it as well, and we greatly appreciate it when you do that. Uh, thank you so much, and thanks for visiting. Please stop by again, and we will see you soon. Take care.